What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Big Poppy JT. And I'm going to be talking about why the Miami Hurricanes should roll with Nikosi Perry as the starter over. Now, I'm going to show you guys a good graphic that I made comparing the two quarterbacks, um, Nikosi Perry and Malik Roser. Um, before I begin, make sure to like the video and subscribe. I post college football videos, NFL videos, and all Miami Hurricanes related content on my channel. And make sure to subscribe. So, on the screen, you see Nikosi Perry stats and Malik Rozier stats. Now, Malik Rozier is, when you look at the stats, has better stats. But we're going to look at the key stat that you guys really need to be paying attention to so Malik Rozier has completed 52 percent of his passes he has five passing touchdowns five rushing touchdowns he has 10 total touchdowns he has 611 passing yards he has 88 rushing yards he has two turnovers and he has 8.4 yards per pass now Nikosi Perry who has only started one game which is the reason why his stats don't look as good as well he he's played in two games so far but his stats don't look like Malik Rozier's because he hasn't started if he would start the LSU game I guarantee his stats are a little way better than Malik Rozier's but anyway he's completed 66.7 percent of his passes he has six passing touchdowns he has no rushing touchdowns and he has six total touchdowns He's passed for 317 yards. He's rushed for 25 yards. He's turned the ball over three times, but he has an 8.1 yards per pass. Now, the key stat that you need to look at is the completion percentage. This is why we lost to LSU because Malik Rozier could not hit anybody. He has no accuracy and his arm strength is limited. With Nikosi Perry, against FIU you saw him hit that slant to Amar Richards on the money on the dime then you saw him hit that floater pass to number nine the freshman tight end that we have and it wasn't just an ordinary pass it was a floater it was a beautifully placed pass that Malik Roser never he would have saw him cover and he never would have he never would have even attempted that pass or he would have overthrew him Jeff Thomas is looking like the GOAT that he is, looking like one of the best wide receivers in the country. And our receiving core is actually showing why we have one of the best, maybe underrated skill position groups in the country. And the whole team just looks energized with Nikosi Perry at quarterback. Now, and Malik, now if Mark Rick doesn't get his head out of his ass and starts Malik Rose here, then we have a problem because Nikosi Perry is obviously the best quarterback on our team and he gives us the best chance to win. And he's accurate with the football. Malik Rozier against LSU had Jeff Thomas open twice and overthrew him. And also that one-handed grab by Jeff Thomas was all because of Malik Rozier's ball placement. He cannot hit anybody in stride. His best pass was a nine-yard slant to Amar Richards. Malik Rozier is just so terrible at quarterback that I know I'm not the only Miami fan who has the same feeling. He's so terrible that every time you throw the ball, you just have to close, you either close your eyes or you just pray. You just pray that the ball is going where it's supposed to be because that's the feeling I get for Malik Rozier. He's just very inconsistent. He's hot cold. He's not even hot cold. He's more 90% cold and 10% hot. The only thing that's good about Malik Rozier is, is his running ability, but, but Nikosi Perry is a way better athlete despite the 25 rushing yards. He's way faster than Malik Rozier. He's a better athlete than Malik Rozier. He's better than Malik Rozier in everything but playbook knowledge. And I don't care what anybody says. Nikosi Perry has been at Miami for a year, almost two years now. I think he should have a pretty good grasp on the playbook by now. Um, he might not know as much as Malik Rozier, but it can't. He can't do no worse. This dude at FIU lit up FIU. If he would have, if our second string defense or whatever backups we put in never would have got put in, we would have destroyed FIU by about. We would have had about 50 points. 
the point of this video is Malik Roser does not deserve to be the quarterback of the Miami Hurricanes. And Nikosi Perry better be the starter when we play the University of North Carolina Thursday or I'm going to have a problem with Mark Rick. Not only is Mark Rick blind, his play calling sucks, but having a good quarterback that can actually hit receivers in stride will make him look way much better than what the plays that he's been calling. I don't know what's his problem. He still thinks it's okay to run a half ass draw on third down. Dude, this is not the 90s. It's 2018. Come on, man. But anyway, make sure to comment your opinion. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. And thanks for watching.